Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of June, so stick around. So today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of June. I do have all of these listed on my Letterboxd account, so if you'd like to follow along, you can check out the link down below to see what I watched. But it was a great month. I was able to I was able to watch several movies. Some days I was able to watch actually more than one movie, and I was able to get out to the theater a couple of times. So I'll go over all of those. But first up, I watched The Green Inferno. Um, this was an interesting movie. This right here was a um, suggestion that I check this out. So I did. Um, it was okay. I liked it for what it was, but. It wasn't my favorite thing to watch. I didn't give it any kind of score or any heart. Um, I probably just need to watch it again, um, but I wasn't a huge fan of that. Next up, I watched Eden Lake. I really enjoyed this one. Great story, great performances. Um, I really think that Kelly Riley did a great job in this. It's a very hard movie to watch as far as the subject matter. Very painful to watch. Um, but a very great film. I gave it three and a half stars and a heart. Next up, I watched Hustlers. I had never seen this one before. I wanted to check it out. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this one. I gave it two and a half stars and no heart. Um, it was okay for what it was, but I didn't really care for the um, subject matter. Next up, I watched The General's Daughter. Really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before. Um, really enjoyed John Travolta's performance. It got three and a half stars and a heart. I really did like that film. Okay, next up, I watched All Good Things. Um, this is the second time I had seen this movie. It's got Ryan Gosling and Kirsten Dunst in it. Um, this particular film, I gave three stars and a heart. I liked it for what it was. The first half of the movie I kind of enjoyed better than the second half, not realizing that it was based on a true story or actual events. And so, very happy that I watched this one, and um, it's one that I will probably check out again. Okay, next up, I watched The Proposition. This right here is one that I had seen before, but I wanted to check it out again. I really love this film. Uh, it's a great western type film. Great performances. I gave this one four stars and a heart. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, I loved it. I thought it was shot very well. It looked beautiful and I highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up I watched Only God Forgives. This, and, this one I had never seen before. Um, of course it's got Ryan Gosling in it. It was a weird kind of movie. I only gave it two stars and no heart. It seemed kind of weird. Very low budget. It, it felt low budget to me. I just didn't care much for it. Okay, next up I watched A Good Person. This right here was recommended that I check this one out. I love this film. Um, this one I gave three stars and a heart. It's a very good story about addiction and the struggles. I thought Florence Pugh gave a great performance and of course Morgan Freeman. So I really enjoyed this one. I highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up I watched Out of the Furnace. I really enjoyed this one. This one I gave two and a half stars and a heart. It's got Christian Bell, Casey Affleck, Woody Harrelson. Um, it's a crime type movie. I really enjoyed it. I um, highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, I didn't care much for this one. It is Unfaithful, and this is about um, this guy's wife being unfaithful, and it has Richard Gere, Diane Lane in it, and I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't, I can understand what the film was about, I just don't like seeing stuff like that. It was just kind of depressing. I hate to see a family broken up, I hate to see a husband and wife go through something like that. So I didn't really care much for it. I gave it two stars. Okay, next up, for the next three days, for actually the next four days, I watched some Bad Boys movies I had never seen 
any of them except for the first one before. So I, I watched Bad Boys, then I watched, okay, I watched Bad Boys, I gave it three stars and a heart. I watched Bad Boys 2, three stars and a heart. Bad Boys for Life, three and a half stars and a heart. And then Bad Boys Ride or Die, I saw that one in the theater, and it got three and a half stars and a heart. I really had a lot of fun with all of these films. I'm glad that they did these. I hope that they don't really do any more, but they may. Um, but it was just a fun time just to watch all these films. Like I said, I had never seen any of them except for the first one before. So it was nice to check them all out. Okay, next up I watched American Gigolo. This one I didn't care much for. It was very slow. Um, I only gave it one star, no heart. I'm, I'm sure people praise this film, but I don't know. I just didn't care much for it. Okay, next up, I watched The Brave One with Jodie Foster. This right here was a great film. Um, I had never seen it before. I gave it only two stars, but a heart, because I did enjoy the film. It was kind of dated, but overall, I enjoyed it. It's, it's got like a revenge element to it which I really enjoyed, and I thought Jodie Foster did great in that film. Okay, next up I watched Ned Kelly. I had never seen this version of the story of Ned Kelly before. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it three stars and a heart. It's based off of true events. It's got Heath Ledger, Orlando Bloom, Naomi Watts, and Jeffrey Rush in it. Definitely highly recommend you check this one out if you've never seen it. Um, I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up, I watched Giant. This right here was a very long movie. Had never seen it before. It's got um, Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson in it and James Dean. The first half of the movie was good. I enjoyed it. It's kind of, it's a Western, but not really a Western. It's more of a family dynamic type drama. Um, I enjoyed it, but it went on a little bit too long, and I didn't really care much for the later, the later half of it. But overall, it's a good film, and I'm glad I finally got to see it. Okay, next up, I watched Field of Dreams. I had seen this a few times before, but I wanted to revisit it as it had been a while. Really enjoyed this film. I gave it three stars and a heart. Um, definitely one that you'd want to check out. Okay, next up, I watched The Hunt. Um, this one I really enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I had never seen it before. Very interesting story. It's got Hilary Swank in it and then Betty Gilpin. I guess that's how you say her name. Um, wasn't really familiar with the story, but overall I really enjoyed it. Um, got a lot of violence in it and it, I don't know, I thought it was pretty well done. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Okay, next up, I watched Aftershock. I had never seen this one before. Someone recommended it, so I went ahead and purchased it. Gave it one and a half stars and a heart. Okay, so it's got a low score, in my opinion, one and a half stars. But a heart, because I did enjoy parts of it. And it's one that I'll definitely want to revisit. Um, a lot of stuff was going on in it. The acting was very low. It wasn't the best acting. Um, that's probably why I got such a low score, um, but that's one that you should probably check out if you've never seen it. Okay, the next one is going to probably upset people, I don't know, but this is my second time watching Inside Out. I saw it back when it was first released and did not care for it. Didn't like it back then. So as time passed, I watched it again in hopes that I would go see the sequel because it's playing in the theater but I watched this again and still did not like it I only gave it one star no heart I don't know what it was about the film but it kind of annoyed me and I don't know I just didn't like it so I'm not a big fan of Inside Out okay next up I actually saw a film in the theaters I saw the bike riders now this is one that I was looking forward to seeing I finally went and checked it out when it came out. 
I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Overall, the story was okay. It was very slow. Not a lot of stuff happening. Um, um, but it's one that I will definitely want to rewatch later on. Okay, next up, I watched Ronin. This right here was a first time watch. Didn't really know anything about Ronin before. Never really heard many people talk about it, but I really loved the story. I gave it three and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed the characters. It felt really um, entertaining. It's the, um, the subject of the film was really interesting about what these group of people do. And overall, it's very, very high tier. I would definitely recommend um, everybody check that one out. Okay, next up was another first time watch. I watched Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino. Never really heard much about this one. I didn't even know what it was about. But I'm glad I finally saw it. It was a very slow moving um, film. But overall, very well acted. And one that I would recommend people check out. Okay, the next film that I watched was Rango. So right here was another first time watch. I really love this one. It is an animated film. It's a western. It's got a lot of humor. And I just love the story. I love the characters. And highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, I watched Drop Dead Gorgeous. Um, I gave this one two stars and a heart. Overall, it was a pretty good film. I didn't really know much about it, but it is about beauty pad. It's about a beauty pageant, and about these characters. It's really a weird. I don't know. It's I can't see people actually behaving the way that these people behaved. But anyways, I'm glad I finally saw it. Okay, next up, I watched Table 19. I gave this one two stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this film. Um, it's based. So this film didn't do very well in the box office, but it's a group of people who end up at table 19 during a wedding reception, and you kind of learn about their past and what's going on in their lives. It's very entertaining, has some humor to it. I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up I watched, um, watched Papillon from 2017. Gave it three stars and a heart. I love this film. I thought it was very well acted. Great story, great performances. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend people check this one out. Next up, I watched Triple Nine. This one I gave two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed it. It is about a crime. It's got some great actors in this um, film. Um, great story. Very entertaining. Definitely recommend that one be checked out. So since I watched the 2017 version of Papillon, I wanted to see the original. So I did watch the original. The, the original is a longer film. It's got a little bit different take on the story. Very slower paced. I gave it three. I gave it three stars and a heart. I did not like it as much as I did the remake. But overall, great film and another one that you should check out. I think based off of when you watch these films, if you watch the original first and then you watch the remake, you might like the original better. But since I saw the remake first, I enjoyed it better. Okay, next up, I watched A Dark Place. This right here was another recommendation. Um, very good story. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it three stars and a heart. It's a dark story. It's very, very slow paced. Um, but there's a great payoff at the end. Highly recommend people check that one out. Another first time watch is Far and Away, and I actually love this film. Um, it's got Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman in it. I gave it four stars and a heart. I don't know what it was about the film. I think it's just very lighthearted. It's a, it's a drama. It's an adventure. It's a comedy. Great story. Great characters. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. I hope we get this one on 4K eventually. And then the last film that I watched in the month is a rewatch, and I wanted to check out La La Land again. I'd only seen it once when it came out at the theater. I haven't seen it since. I know there's some divisiveness about it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So I remember enjoying it, 
So I want to see it again and see what I think about it. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of June. Hopefully you were able to see a lot of films. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched. And also give me some recommendations of other films that you think I should check out. Because I really do enjoy your recommendations. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.